What's up YouTube, Jerry Land here with Nomad Tech, and this is my What's in My Tech Bag video for 2017, and next year, in 2018, I'll be making a lot more of these videos, as well as a lot of the videos that you guys want to see, so make sure to hit that subscribe button below and join the notification squad. Today we're gonna keep things nice and simple. I'm gonna run down what's in my backpack, what backpack that I'm currently using, which backpacks I like, but most importantly, today I'm gonna give you just a quick little tidbit about each of the products inside my backpack and the different things that I usually carry on me on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you wanna see more of an in-depth review video on any of these products, make sure to drop a comment below. And also check out my YouTube channel a little bit more because a lot of the products that I'm featuring here today, I've already reviewed. So first off, the backpack. This is from a startup company in San Francisco called Air. I've been using these backpacks for a few years now and no I'm not sponsored by any of the companies or with any of the products in this video so please stop commenting that in my other videos as well I'm just a small youtuber bringing you a bunch of the products that I like and that I think are good so with that out of the way let's get started this is Air's newest backpack it's called the flight pack and I actually really really love it it's super functional and even though it's the flight pack that's kind of meant for travel I use this as my daily backpack right now because it just really suits my need first off aesthetics it's got an all black design which I absolutely love this triple black finish for some reason it's something I really like right now kind of stealthy look I really like the tough ballistic nylon that they use, the comfy padding and design on the back to give you that little channel of airflow, as well as the nice, simple shoulder straps. There's really nothing to them. They're nicely padded, not too thick, not too slim, and they're even curved to kind of fit around your shoulders nice and well. But one of my favorite parts about this backpack is that you can actually unclip it from the D-ring on the bottom and then be able to tuck it into this secret pocket right here so that you can use this more as like a messenger or a brief with the handles, which there's one on the side, one on the top, super nice thick handles that I can feel comfortable with holding my backpack and all my gear in and not need to worry about it breaking. So when I wanna take off these straps and not use this as a backpack, I can tuck them into this pocket. Bonus pro tip, if I use this as a backpack, this little pocket right here is actually a huge pocket that goes all the way down the length of the backpack. My 15 inch laptop even fits in here, or of course, they have dedicated laptop compartments as well. I just thought this was a cool little extra compartment that you could use, and then the straps kinda go over it, and it's just a nice, safe, extra pocket for you to be able to have. Who doesn't love extra pockets? Now before we get inside the backpack, on the outside you'll see that you have a D-ring here, D-rings at the bottom, you got a few loops right here on this side, a loop on this side. That is something I absolutely love about backpacks and that's why I love the Nike ESB one so much as well. Look at all these loops that I can clip stuff to. I love hooking carabiners up to those, I love attaching different things to them, they're super handy. So at the top of the backpack we have this little pocket. On that note, all the zippers on these backpacks from Air are incredible. That's something that you don't appreciate until you get a Jansport which zipper breaks in less than half a year and then you'll be super frustrated. So the pocket's not that deep here I'll keep my wallet maybe some gum my Apple AirPods and maybe a couple other little accessories like that but it's just a nice quick access small pocket at the top now on the front of the backpack you'll see it's kind of divided halfway through and there is a nice thick zipper right here that's actually a waterproof zipper and when you reach inside you can kind of see that half the backpack is this giant pocket right here and then even inside the pocket there's a few dividers and organizers I got a couple pouches for pens I'll keep a battery pack in here maybe my Apple pencil, maybe a couple hard drives, some other little knickknacks like that. Now the last thing I want to mention on the outside of the backpack is that on the back padding you'll see that there's actually this hole that goes through the whole center of the backpack and this is for you to be able to slide this onto your suitcase handle and that's why it's called the flight pack. This is perfect for traveling and even though well, on a daily basis I don't really need to slide this into the handle of my suitcase I'll actually go ahead and slide a jacket through here so it's actually a little extra padding on my back and I'll just kind of have a jacket hanging through so I don't have like this big poofy backpack I have to deal with so my jacket will hang in that little pouch right there. Moving to the inside of the backpack, again one of the reasons why I love, love the flight pack is because of the clamshell design where the big zipper opens all the way down the middle and it opens like a giant clamshell and it's so convenient to get to your stuff. This is obviously designed to be an airport or a travel backpack so that when you go through checkpoints and go through security, it's super easy to open up your backpack, have them check it, and be able to see everything without necessarily having to take everything out of your backpack. 
Great design, also great for going to work, going to school, whatever. When we open up the backpack, right away we see that there's a giant sleeve right here, which my 15 inch MacBook fits in here easily. I have another sleeve for my iPad Pro, 10 and a half inch. Love that thing. And then I got two extra pockets right here. I'll keep a couple hard drives here. Now when we come to the other side, there's actually an extra mesh pocket. So inside here, sometimes I'll keep a couple dongles. You'll see a fidget spinner, because yeah, I think those things are kind of fun. And last but not least, it comes with one extra strap. This is for when you want to tuck your backpack straps away. And like I said, use this more as like a briefcase or a sling kind of situation. So it comes with this as well. That's the backpack in a nutshell that I'm currently rotating through and using the most. I'm actually rotating through quite a bit of Air's 2.0 collection, so definitely check out the rest of those backpacks. So while showing you the backpack that I used and talking a little bit about it, you saw a couple of accessories that I keep in it. But let's just go over real quick what's in my tech bag. So I'm currently rocking in the 15 inch MacBook Pro space gray, spec'd out completely except for the storage. I believe I got about 500 gigabytes of storage and to this day, I freaking regret it. So if you're actually gonna go for the 15 inch MacBook Pro, spec it out completely all the way, I think up to two terabytes. I know it's super expensive, but trust me, you'll thank me later. My other main device that I keep in my tech bag every single day is my iPad Pro, 10 and a half inch. It was the perfect in between from the giant 12 or almost 13 inch one to the about nine inch one. Yes, I have a pink smart cover on it. I let my wife choose the color, but pink's pretty cool too. If you're gonna get an iPad Pro, whether you're an artist or whether you're a student that needs to take a lot of notes, I still recommend the Apple Pencil. I love it. Next up, you'll see that I rotate through a few different types of hard drives. One of which that I don't have, I really, really want are those Samsung T3, T5 SSDs that are so nice and tiny, they're USB-C, but they are so expensive. So as of now, I'm using a Lassie USB-C rugged hard drive. It's the classic one that you always see, this nice orange brick that everybody has, but I don't like how heavy it is. Then I have a couple of these Seagate drives. One of them is this super thin one that I loved for a while, but it's only 500 gigabytes, which sounds like a lot, but when you shoot in 4K, 500 gigabytes will not get you very far. And then I have these other Seagate ones. I have quite a few of these, and these are two terabytes each, which is a lot better. And yes, I used to have my own NAS system, but I kind of didn't really like it. I kind of like having individual little hard drives, but I'm reconsidering another NAS setup just because now that I'm shooting weddings professionally as well as doing YouTube, all this 4K footage is crazy, and I want to find a better storage solution. I saw that I Justine recently got Linus Tech Tips to help her out. So if any of you out there want to help me out, hook me up, I would love to do that. Of course, links to everything will be in the description below. So if you want to pick up any of these items that I use on a daily basis, feel free to check below. And if I'm missing anything, just drop a comment and I'll hook you up. Now, for listening purposes. Inside of this Altoids case, I keep a little Apple Lightning earbud just in case any of my Bluetooth wireless listening devices kind of fail or die on me, but I love the Apple AirPods. No explanation needed, my AirPods just work great. And then when I don't wanna use AirPods and I wanna get some noise cancellation, I use the Bose QC35s. These are amazing, super cushiony, and I love the all triple black matte black finish of this model. As for speakers, I got two here today. I usually only carry one on me. I have the B&O Play, the Supreme Edition. Yes, I'm a little hype beast and I love Supreme, so this one actually works really well. I'll give you a little sound clip. I think it sounds pretty good. And then of course, I have the UE Boom 2. This is one that's tried and true, classic. I've had it for quite a while, but it just works so well, so I keep it around as well and rotate that through. As you know, I make videos, so I keep a lot of SD cards on me while I'm editing, so yes, I have this little in-case leather pouch. I love this thing. This thing stores all my SD cards, my micro SD cards, keeps them nice and safe, nice and organized. And on that note, a couple adapters I have to have to have on me. The Sandus USB-C SD card adapter works perfect. I highly recommend this one. And just the regular Apple USB-C adapter. It has a USB-C port, USB-A port, and an HDMI port. And that's kind of all I really need. Of course, I have to keep some charging cables and some charging bricks on me. So usually I'll have my iPad Pro brick and I'll also have my MacBook Pro USB-C brick, which is a super fast charger. Love that thing. And then my favorite, favorite cable ever is this one from a company called Schaffen, Chiffon, Chafin, but it has a ton of different cables on it. As you can see, it's super cheap. I highly, highly recommend it. It's actually one of my favorite tech items ever. I keep the Logitech MX Master 2S on me because this is a super awesome mouse. Tried and true by every tech YouTuber out there. I love this new colorway they got. It's kind of got this little space gray, almost like a little blue hint to it. It looks amazing and it works well. And then also from Logitech, this little pointer presenter. It's super nice, a little bit overpriced, but I keep it on me because as most of you know, 
I'm actually a teacher and that's my full-time job. So having that and having that be USB-C is amazing. My only complaint with the MX Master 2S, I wish it was USB-C. And that's actually one of the reasons why I love the B&O Play Supreme Edition speaker as well, because that's a USB-C speaker. I always get questions about this. My glasses that I usually wear that are the horn rim, black ones, those are Ray-Ban glasses. These are actually from a company called Fermu. And then I have these Ray-Ban sunglasses as well that I really like. I'll try to find them and link them below for you as well. This is the Zhiyun Smooth 3. This is a little smartphone gimbal. And because my iPhone 10 has such good camera quality and can shoot 4K footage, I use my phone to record some stuff. And having that gimbal on me just saves my life sometimes and it works super well. I'll link that below. I really like this smartphone gimbal and it's at a really good price as well. I've had this wallet for maybe two, three, I don't even know, four years and I still love it. I have I haven't switched it out because it's amazing. I get compliments on it all the time. I love this little push action that shoves all my cards up and you can see them, they're divided nicely. It works well. And again, like I said, I've had it for quite a few years. This is the same exact one. Never had to buy a new one. And I know Unbox Therapy reviewed it as well. I really like this power bank from Belkin because it charges through an attached three prong connector. And it even has the three prong wall plug that you can use to charge some devices. So it's not just USB. I do wish it held more battery capacity. I really love this one, but I also rotate through a couple other battery packs. I'll go ahead and link them below for you guys. Now this guy is something new that I got for Christmas. This is the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 camera. Urban Outfitters, limited edition, white model. I love it. This is my first Polaroid or instant camera and it's so much fun to use. I love the giant chunky grip on it. I love that the instant film that comes out of it is super wide. You guys should definitely check this one out. I'll maybe do a full review of this one. Comment below if you wanna see a review of this camera. Currently rocking the new LTE Apple Watches. It's a lifesaver being able to leave my phone at home sometimes but still get texts and make calls or even just forgetting your phone and still be connected. So I love my my new Apple Watch as well as my iPhone 10. I posted my review video not too long ago so make sure you check that out if you haven't done so already. But for the case that I'm rocking on this guy, this is the Kadabi Veil XD and this is my tried and true case that I've been using ever since I believe the iPhone 6. They've been coming out with new models for every single new iPhone and I just love how minimalistic this case is. All the cutouts are super precise and this is for that kind of person that doesn't want a bulky case on their phone but still wants to keep a little bit of extra grip as well as a little bit of scratch protection and just just keep their phone a little bit safer than having it completely naked. I do love that this has a little raised bump for your camera to protect your camera lens. And the best part is these cases are pretty cheap so you can go pick up a few different colors. I'll make sure to drop a link below for you so you can check out this case. But of course, if I'm going camping or hiking, the Veil XT is not what I choose, but I still gravitate towards a Kadabi case or sometimes even a Spigen case. So check out some of their other ones because they don't just make these tiny thin ones. They also have some pretty rugged ones. As for this little guy, this is a tiny switchblade. Yes, of legal size. I am an Eagle Scout, so I usually do like keeping a knife on me, but I'm also a YouTuber unboxing things all the time, so this is what I use in studio, and so I wanna make sure that I am very clear, do not bring a knife to school, to work, or anywhere you are not supposed to. Be safe, do not play with knives, but this is a cool little switchblade that I personally use for unboxing things. Again, make sure you're safe. This was my 2017 What's In My Tech Bag video, more so of an everyday carry situation. But I know you guys love these What's In My Tech Bag video, What's In My Travel Bag, What's In My School Bag, My Work Bag, My Sneaker Bag, etc. So I'm gonna try to give you guys a lot more of these videos in 2018. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Don't forget, links to everything down below if you wanna go pick one up for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jerry Land with Nova Tech. Until the next one and beyond.